Brand new here on the night team, we have new information for you tonight about the dire situation still unfolding in Asheville, North Carolina. County officials there say the number of dead has risen to 40 in the county around Asheville alone. Now, the city's water system damage is being called catastrophic, with restoration going to take weeks. Major help is arriving. Power is coming back slowly, along with some cell service. President Joe Biden will visit Asheville on Wednesday. As ABC News shows us here tonight, some other towns are just gone. Tonight, an urgent search for the missing after apocalyptic rain from remnants of Hurricane Helene turned hillsides to rivers of mud. There are 92 rescue teams out working, doing search and rescue right now. And we're dealing with a situation that is unlike anybody's ever seen in Western North Carolina. Floodwaters cutting off entire communities. More than 130 people dead across six states and hundreds more still unaccounted for. Parts of Asheville, North Carolina now unrecognizable. And along this road, household items and tractor trailers piled up high. This one up in the trees wrapped in down power lines and the floodwaters, the force so strong, it pushed what appears to be a horse or a cow underneath that one. This is what a flood will do. Mark Goldwaite's iconic music venue, the Asheville Guitar Bar, is kicked in mud. The water level was up to the, uh, the main beam there. He's tired and frustrated. The past few days have been a nightmare, uh, a lot of looting. We've lost everything, and people are coming in to take even more from us. Lines for fuel more than a mile long. The need for the basics to live, water and food, growing more desperate by the minute. But so many roads remain impassable. Images from the North Carolina Department of Transportation showing massive chunks missing from crucial Interstate 40. A massive effort now underway to get relief into the area. The National Guard mobilizing troops and flying in heavy equipment from states as far away as New York and Connecticut. Civilian pilots in Hickory, North Carolina, using their own helicopters to fly in supplies. Think Hurricane Katrina, um, except in the mountains and with helicopters, not boats. And here in Asheville, while authorities search for victims and bring in much needed food and water, you can see it's raining. They're still dealing with remnants of Helene. There's also a massive cleanup operation still ahead. Faith Abube, ABC News, Asheville, North Carolina.